Cotton Tower, 965 is uh, holding short at 23 and ready to go. November 40965, Groton Tower, runway 23, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff on 23, 965. Here we go. Instruments, fuel pressure, oil pressure, oil temperature, airspeed coming alive. Away we go. Seventy-nine knots. Good way to spend a day. Cotton Tower 9 or 6 5, do you have a frequency for me for flight fouling? Number 9 or 6 5, affirmative, you can call promise approach now on 119 point four five. One one nine point four five for 9 or 6 5, thank you. Province approach warrior 40965 just south of Groton, uh, request and advisories to Delta X-ray Romeo. And the uh, call sign one more time, 4065. Four zero nine or six five. We're four zero nine six five. Squawk three five two five. Three five two five for nine or six five. We're four zero nine six five. You're ready to contact five west of Grand Isle. Two meters two nine or seven nine or at uh, two thousand nine hundred confirm. With uh, two nine or seven nine or yep two point nine. Thank you. I said I would take the shoreline back, but it looks like the clouds have kind of moved south and east. Uh, so I think actually getting back over the land is going to be a little bit better. 31, 32, that seems to be good. Number 40965, traffic alert, traffic 11 o'clock and 2 miles eastbound. Altitude indicates 2,500, type unknown. 11 o'clock and 2.5, looking for traffic, 965. 965, it looks like there's additional traffic just popping up uh, 1 o'clock and uh, 3 miles southbound, indicating 3,100, type unknown, suggest you climb on that one. I'm going to go down because the clouds are about 32, and I have the 11 o'clock traffic and I'm looking for the 1 o'clock traffic. Thank you. So that guy's right under our wing. He's no factor. I got the other traffic. I have traffic in sight. He will be non-factor in a second. Number 965, thanks. Approach cap 3727. Cap flight 3727, go ahead. How's it going, buddy? We're going to ask our mission uh, people for this exercise to just hold at uh, this position uh, for a while. Cap flight 3727, roger. What's ahead of me is this. We're 40965, contact New York 124.07. 124.075 for 965. Thank you for your help. New York Approach Warrior 40965 with you in over Essex, Connecticut. Cherokee 40965, New York Approach, White Plains Delta Committee 2983. 2983, 965. So this is solo flight number three cross country. This will give me all of my time plus. I'll have more than five hours. I needed a six tenths. This is 45 minutes out and back at least. So an hour and a half. After this, Lloyd says we start prepping for my check ride. Excited, nervous, a little more northerly on our course back than I, I planned, but there's a lot fewer clouds. I see more blue sky. I'm not looking at that where I'm flying. So might as well just fly that way. We'll still find Lake Gaylord. New Haven. Okay, yeah, T-36, 5,000, now we have X-ray at Farmingdale. Bridgeport, Oxford Airport, right on up. One thing we have to look out for, uh, if we are more northerly, I'm, 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 up here, traffic 12 o'clock, eight miles northbound, 10 I'm not even at 3,200 feet because of the clouds, and that's Oxford's airspace, so we'll make sure that we don't violate their airspace. We're able to get a little more altitude over here. Got a little more blue sky, clouds are a little higher, not a whole lot.
Couple hundred feet doesn't hurt. As we come upon Lake Gaylord. All right, Oxford is another 17 miles from uh, Gaylord. 12, 13 minutes. Let's see how we do for time. That'll be five, that'll be 10, that'll be 13 right there. My house is somewhere near here. I see the library. Library has a uh, like aluminum roof, but it's bright blue. So I can see that that's sticking out clear as day. I'm a couple blocks up, a couple blocks over. I mean, I see the church on the corner of my street. I'm uh, three houses up from that, so I'm up. I think I'm looking at my, I think I'm looking at my house. Hey, Lisa, how's it going? Right down there. Uh, let's get back to flying, huh? Yeah, I don't know if we'll be over, uh, if we're going to hit Oxford's airspace. We're, we're certainly above it. Look up close to the outer edge. Maybe just cut over it. New York approach, 9065. I'm going to cancel and go VFR if you got no other traffic. Again, 9065. Nope, your previous code traffic's no fact. No other traffic observed between you and Danbury. Squawk VFR, towers 119.4. Squawk and VFR, 9065. Thank you for your help. We cannot be below 32 until we get past the river. At the river, you're good. Probably good now, but that's a definite border. You're on the other side of the river, you're clear of Oxford's airspace. So, Demery Tower Warrior 409 or 6510 east with Mike in for full stop landing. Number four five nine or six, Mike Danbury Tower. Uh, what's your position again? Four zero nine or six five, about ten east. Four zero nine or six five, Danbury Tower, I dent. I dent coming at you. Number nine or six five, I dent observe. Report a three mile right base runway three five. Three mile right base for three five nine or six five. That's a nine six five clear to land three five. Clear to land on, on three five nine or six five. There you go. Uh, 613. There's a tower on the right hill on the top. When you're beam that tower, you have to be at its altitude. That's 1,200 feet. We're at about 1,350. 75 knots, two notches of flaps. Probably won't need a third with 11 knot headwind. Keep it on the numbers. Speed with the throttle at this point. Fuel pump on. Knots, we're not going to use the last notch of flaps. Wherever you are in the world, share your aviation. Share aviation, a network for pilots by pilots.